Welcome back you guys, my name is Game Boy, and today's Game Boy playing is called New Super Lucky's Tale, and I'm gonna go into one of these levels, and not going into that one quite yet, just because I really just do not want to and everything, so, yeah. Um, which levels can I go into, like, I know I could go and probably unlock that and everything, I probably have already gotten all the stuff I need, but, um, yeah, why not? Why not just do this? Just because I'm I'm right there and I want to try all the like challenges if I can. I'm gonna try basically everything. I'm not gonna try to get 100% in every level, but if the level is easy enough. Didn't I already do this already? Yes, yes. I understand what I need to do here. Oh, so I need to get those two. That's not that difficult. It's so basically I just hit that all the way over here. I have one statue to do that, and then I basically have it. It's not that difficult. It's just a basic, if you can understand what you can and cannot do within these puzzles, you understand that you can do this. So, let's do this. Okay, I really do not like how the momentum works with him. Like, it's like, he starts running and everything, but he should, like, at some point, walk. Okay, am I able to destroy... Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get rid of that bat, but I did this, not too difficult. It wasn't difficult even at all. It was like, why did they even have this puzzle? I really don't know, but they did. They apparently did. That wasn't a challenge. That was just moving bricks of Lucky's face and everything. That wasn't that hard. I knew exactly what to do the minute I saw it, so... Calling these challenges, I would understand if you're like a kid and you don't understand what the challenge or puzzle is, so then I understand why they did it, but for someone like me, that was not a challenge. That was really not a challenge. Okay, is there any other challenges that I can do? Like, I know there's one up here that I could do and all that, so that I'm probably gonna do. I'm gonna try to do it, of course, just because... Okay, so I think I have done this. Yeah, 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 I have done that, so... Okay, so I need to go up to here and then do it. Okay, so... Jump onto these. And... Okay, so... Which, let me go to the left side, then the right. I hope these challenges are more challenging than just sliding s stuff. And I hope the sliding... If it is sliding puzzles, I hope the sliding puzzles are um, a lot more difficult. Okay, yes, 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 I get it. I can't have a cat go and enter the entrance. Oh, wow. This is super difficult. I really don't know how to do this. This is gonna take all the power, my willpower. Okay, I just did it. These aren't difficult. The only difficult part is trying to line up Lucky to where I need him to go. These puzzles and challenges are not difficult. I understand exactly what I'm doing. Get this. Let's get another clover. Did they just make it so you can get clovers really easy and all that because this is just pathetically easy. Like, I understand if you're a kid and this is like your first video game, but unless, this, unless you are a kid and this is your first video game, this is not difficult. Ugh. I don't know why there are, like, challenges, but... I really don't understand why there are extra challenges, it's just, like... I really don't. But... Whatever. Whatever. At least I can do this. At least I'm doing it correctly, at least, so... That's the best, and I'm glad that I'm speeding through them, so then I don't have to do them later, so then... If I need extra clovers, then I, at least I have some. Okay, so... Now this one, this one, it's not difficult, it's just one of those um, ones that you have to have, like, Lucky right there. Yeah, you just have to keep sliding Lucky around and everything. It's like one of those sliding puzzles with, like, the picture that you have to do, so. Really don't know why they have these. Really don't know why at the first area, the Sky Castle area, they have these, because they're not difficult. 
not difficult. I'm speeding through these, and I'm making little to no mistakes on most of these. Ugh. The first one was more difficult because I didn't know what to do. Ugh. But anyway, at least I can go into a level now and do what I need to do from there, so... Not gonna be too hard to do the other levels. If if the difficulty of this of these challenges are like this and all that then I'm probably gonna have no problem doing like one hundred percent in every level. I'm probably gonna have no problem doing a hundred percent in Okay, why did I just do that? Okay. So let me just wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna do that one later. I know I keep passing it off, but I'm gonna... Wait. Is there anything over here? Okay, I always want to make sure if there's anything anywhere, because if there is, then I want to make sure. And I'm glad that the camera is not a physical object. I'm really glad about that, because... Yeah, I'm just really glad. Eh, yeah, I keep passing it up enough, so let me just go over to here. But before I do, because I know I can. Okay, nothing in there. Anything in here? Nope, so, yeah, let's just go this way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Anything in these flowers? Anything in the plant? Nope. Let's just go into here. And let's see what this is. I, I wonder if it's going to be like an auto runner or an actual level. I wonder. Or is it going to be like another challenge level to where I'm going to have to do some new mechanic and everything in the game? Because if it's a new mechanic level, then, yeah. So, this is a 2D platformer level? Really? So, um, okay. Makes some sense. Oh yeah, I can double jump, duh. So I need to double jump at the right time. And I do need, okay, uh, does it tell you how many coins you need or do you just, like, does it just do it automatically? Because if it does it just automatically and everything, like, it just gives you it automatically, then I understand. Okay, first off, let's go down. Okay, I need to hit the bolt. Okay, wait. Okay, let's just keep doing. Let's keep on doing. Okay, so it's a good thing that I came this way, so then I got... I'm just glad that I went that way, so then I got the L for lucky. Okay. Um... That looks like I'm gonna be speedrunning this level, so I'm gonna probably come back to that and do that later once I learn what the level really is. Once I learn what the level really is, I'll probably come back and speedrun it in later once I figure it out of course but yeah okay okay so you I'm probably gonna have to go down to there somehow so somehow somehow I'm supposed to be able to go down there but if at all how oh wait 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 I do see how okay so what do you want exactly Want. Okay, so you were just there to give me coins. Okay, makes some, makes some sense what I had to do right there. Okay, if I time this correctly, I should be able to... Oh, wait, wait. I don't need to even time it correctly. I can just do that. Okay. Okay, let's get the C. Ah, good lord. Why did I do that? Do I keep all the stuff that I just collected? Okay, yes, I do. You get squashed. And now jump over to here, grab all the coins, just because it seems like I have to get the coins if I want a coin thing, so yeah, that's gonna be something. So I'm gonna ha okay, there's gonna be that I'm gonna have to do. So now over to here, let's do that. Oh, so am I gonna now go into the background or something? 
Oh, so that's what it is. Okay, let's go. Let's do this correctly. Okay, okay. So I got an extra light, that's great. So, how do I get back? Like, I'm gonna go back and get that timer just because. Oh! Um, okay. So that's a thing. So I found a hidden page. That's interesting. I'm gonna go back just because I know that I can. Okay. I'm gonna, okay, so it doesn't really make me lose my a life. It just makes me lose a heart. That is cool. That is cool. Okay, what do I have to collect? So I have to do this in a timely fashion. Just go and run. Okay. Oh, just another life. Great. How many lives are they just gonna give me? Because it's like I already have 19 lives. I'm not gonna die anytime soon with the three hearts and everything. With the three hearts that this game gives you and how easy the challenges are. I really hope that later in the game, this game gets harder. I really hope so. If not, then I understand. I understand if this game doesn't get that difficult later in the game. Because if it doesn't get that difficult, then I get it. But it's just like, really? Okay, where are you gonna... Oh, so I have to get, get there. So, do I have to hit you? Apparently so. Let's just keep doing... Okay. Down to here, just so then I can get you. Okay. Is this, is this all what the game has to offer? Because if so, then... This game is not challenging. I'm not complaining because the game is so very fun okay so I don't have to collect any more coins and I'm guessing that 300 coins is basically the limit of how many coins you te technically need for this so that's what I'm guessing if that's what's happening okay, so how do I get up there I'm gonna get up there somehow but how okay oh down here duh oh my bad, it's not like I have three hearts that I can just do that with. Okay, okay, so, here, very careful. Oh, you spit out, yeah, that's gonna be fun to do. That's gonna be fun to dodge. Okay, let's just do this properly. Slow and steady will get me to the end. Slow and steady. Ah, no, nah, no, was not trying to mean to do that. That's the first time I actually lost a life in this game. That was not because of the game being hard, that was just because of me being stupid and getting hit by those spikes twice, just because of stupidity. Okay, so I do, still do need the, okay, so I do still need to get 300 coins, I guess. Wait, do I? Okay, so I do need to get... Okay, so there's the Y. Before I enter, I want to see how many... That is right. Okay, so I need to get the Y in Lucky, and... Yeah. It's very... It, this isn't that hard. Like, I wonder why they didn't make this hard. Like, I get that this wasn't supposed to be difficult, and this is supposed to be, like, a kid game. But, seriously, Spyro any of the Spyro games that just came out, those are harder than this. Ah, oh good lord. Okay, thank god I was able to do that. And anyway, that life that I just lost, just regained it, so doesn't really make sense of why. So basically, I just 100% to the level without even trying. 
I tried a little bit, but not as much as I would in, like, Spyro or Sly Cooper or in any other platformer. Uh. Yes, 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 I understand. I got 100% on my first try. Not that difficult. The auto runner was a little bit more difficult than this. Just because you couldn't go back and everything. But, whatever. I'm not gonna knock it because of the difficulty. I'm gonna knock it because of if it was bad. And this isn't bad! Even though it's di not di as difficult as I thought it would be, I still like this. I really still do like this game. This is a very, very charming game, and I really am enjoying every minute of playing this. Eh, yeah, let me just go into the other area. I will come back, of course. I'm gonna go and do every level, of course. I just wanna, at this moment, just go back and do what I wanna do. I just wanna go back to up here and just unlock this area and have whatever up. Uh, wait, anything over here? Anything over here? Uh, yeah, let me do this sliding puzzle and then I will be at the big giant door and I will see if there's like gonna be like a boss or something that I'm gonna have to fight. If so, then I know that I can do it because I've been able to do all the others. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. So I have to get two statues of Lucky. Okay, so, okay, makes sense. Makes sense on what I have to do, so I have to move. Okay, let's move the statue down. Come on, come on. The only challenge I'm having with this is that I'm going and fighting with Lucky to move at point. So this Lucky needs to go down to here. This cat statue has to go up to the side. Just keep on going, Lucky. Okay, why? Why? I was just... No. I do not want that. Or ever want it ever again. Okay, so I have that lined up for, the, for what I need it to do. Okay, I, I, I see. I see, so... Oh, um, yeah. Now I'm understanding, like, it's getting a little bit more challenging, and I'm enjoying, like, the slight challenge that this game has now. I'm actually understanding the slight challenge, but... It's ramping up very, very slowly, and I understand a little bit on why, but still, shouldn't be this slow on getting the difficulty. So now I just go over to here, whack this cat statue, whack Lucky, the Lucky statue right there, go to the forward, and I actually have it done. Not too difficult, but it did stump me a little bit, but that was only just because I wasn't using everything to my advantage. And I got it. Not too difficult, not too difficult. Very, very easy still. I hope that those challenges get harder and everything. I know they do because that one stumped me a little bit just because I wasn't using everything to my advantage and everything, so yeah. I should be aware that I should be using everything to my advantage and not just being very cocky with what I'm doing and everything. Okay, so, wow, that's a lot of coins. I can basically buy a lot of stuff if I wanted to. I'm not going there quite yet, seeing if there's any more challenges. If there are, then I will do them. Okay, last challenge, and then I will go to the big door. Last, last challenge, and then I will be going to the big door and doing what I need to do there. Because that's how I progress in this game, apparently. Okay, okay, where are the two statues? Okay, makes sense. I got this. So, push that there. Push that there. Push this up, push this upward, push this there, down you go, to the right, and then I got it. Not hard, not when it tells you exactly what to do, the last puzzle was harder than this one, and I'm not 
and hard is not the word I would use for the last puzzle. The puzzle was trivial, but stumped me a tiny bit because I was being cocky. Not because it was hard. The, the, uh, I hope they get better. And I know I'm complaining about them and everything, but they're still really fun. I am still liking every, um, challenge that I'm doing. I still like this game. I'm not knocking for, like, it's too easy or anything. I really, really am enjoying it. Oh, um, okay, so that was something I didn't really expect. Let me check him out, I guess. Okay, so, I get it, I get it. So basically, they weren't challenging on purpose and everything because they wanted to make it so he wasn't that good at making the puzzles. Makes sense, makes sense. So, let's just do what we need to do here, I guess. I, am I gonna, like, fight some boss or something? Because if I am, then that's gonna be cool. And if I don't even need to do the other levels because I've already done a lot here, then that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's just do what we need to do here. Let's get to the next area and let's just see what we need to do. Because I am very curious and I really hope that it doesn't lock you out of the previous area. Because if it does, then that kind of sucks because I really should have done that one level then. Dim dim nip hokey. Meow, kibble baki chow. Let's do this. So his full name is Lucky Super Tail. Okay. So I got a. Oh, oh, oh! I see. So I just have to knock these away, I guess. Makes sense, I guess. What 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 else do I have to do? Okay, so I have to I get it. Not gonna be challenging, just gonna be Just timing it out to Okay, so I have to just time this out correctly and I would be able to do this. Okay, jump. Do what I need to do, do my platforming stuff that I have to do. Okay, so if I if I'm able to, can't I just do the, like uh, do this the whole time? Oh wait, no, I can't because if I do, then those bouncing ones can't kill me. Okay, come on, come on, let's just do this correctly. Oh, did not know I had to do it that way. Did not know I had to do that. Okay, so, yeah, that was my fault. It, that was literally my fault in that situation. Okay, good. Let's just keep going. Did I get you? That was easy. Dim dim nip hokey. Meow, kibble baki chow.
<laughs> that was a close one. Herbal Chew, Biawam. Biaw Grats, Herb Taru, Biawam. Mousy, Rabbit, a Burbit! Nickel worm. We wish me wibble. Worm can rubs. Perkins aren't a roo wig. Twapping jibs. Twalking derb lermish. Purple nibs. Shawana grab alert all. Keep all round. And ruin in my groove. So basically, Tess is basically an inventor that basically can build a lot of things, but at the same time, most of her inventions inventions are duds, and they go and blow up in her face. I guess. Um. Okay. And am I able to go back to like the previous area at all? Like. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so it's gonna be, like, Spyro 3, I guess. So, basically, I have to go through the menu if I want to go back to the previous areas and do what I need to do. But do I have enough at all to do what I need to do? Because if I do have enough and everything, then that's gonna be kind of cool. That's gonna be cool, but I'm still gonna do every level. I'm not gonna s skip any of the levels. I'm gonna go back... Pr obviously and do what I need to do and everything it just I want to see if if I get up to here if I have enough because I have a lot of pages I do okay so I do still need 10 D do I need 10 from the perceivable area meaning the area that I'm in and, and all that so it doesn't matter if I collect as a lot from the other areas it only matters if I collect them from this area if that's true, then that's going to be cool because then that means that the game isn't just a Oh, you collected a lot from one area, so now you can skip an area. That that would be cool if that was it. Because then that would mean that you don't just go and... And can complete this game by just completing like the first world, then completing the second world, and then you're able to then fight the final boss after that because you can skip the third world or skip perceivable worlds in the future as you play that and that's really cool that you can't do that but yeah okay let's explore a little bit but yeah this is a really really interesting area and it's a really fun game as well I am enjoying every moment of this game this is a really interesting game and I'm going to leave this episode here. I will next episode go over to the previous world and do what I need to do there and finish it out and all that. I'm not going to try to get 100%, but due to how easy this game is, I may just get 100% just because of how easy it is. But I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure on what I'm going to do. But if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But whatever. This is still a really fun game, even though the difficulty isn't that high, like it is in Spyro, Sly Cooper, Banjo-Kazooie, Ukulele, or any of those other 3D collectathons, and it's just an easy warm-up game and everything, then that's still really cool because I still love the concept of what this game is and all that, so... Anyway, I am just gonna leave this episode here, and I am just gonna go. 
See you. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next. Bye -bye.